Hi, welcome to our Purvi Resonance Commission. Now, today our topic is the classification of ligands, second part. Now, previously we classified the ligands based on their density like mono, bi, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, like that. Now, the nature of ligands which are classified into certain type. So, ligands further classification is ambidentate ligands. Flexidentate ligands, bridge ligands, pi acceptor ligands, and final one is chelating ligands. Chelating ligands. So now, based on these classification, we will discuss the uh, each and every classified ligands uh, uh, in detail. So the first one is ambidentate ligands. So, ambidentic means it, uh, it is similar to the frog, frog having a dual nature, like a amphoteric nature. So, that's why ambidentic came from amphoteric nature. Ambidentic ligands. So, ambidentic ligand means a single, a single ligand having more than one donor atom. Ligand having more than one donor atom. So, for example, CN, it is a ligand, but uh, it donates the electron pairs from carbon and from nitrogen also. It, it, it donates the electron pairs from carbon as well as nitrogen. Ligand is a single one, but uh, here donor atoms are more than one. Here donor atoms are two. So, sometimes... Carbon donates the metal. Carbon donates the pair of electrons to the metal. Now here, metal carbon linkage is there. Sometimes uh, nitrogen donates the pair of electrons. Now here, metal nitrogen linkage is there. Metal carbon, metal nitrogen. So generally, a single ligand having more than one donor atom, it 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 gives the complexes with uh, different donor atoms then such a type of ligands are called as uh, ambidentic ligands. So the best examples are SCN minus, NCS minus, again NO2 minus, ONO minus. Now here it is a nitro compound, nitrito compound, nitro compound, nitrito compound. So these two are also, these two are also best example for ambidentic ligand. Generally, ambidentic ligands forms the linkage isomers. Ambidentic ligands forms linkage isomers. So, linkage isomers are came from the ambidentic ligands only. When, uh, it, it is clear about uh, ambidentic ligands. So, generally, ligand, so basically, monodentic ligand uh, having more than one donor atom, it forms the complex uh, with the both, uh, both donor atoms, so then it is said to be ambidentic ligand. So, for the example also, another examples are also urea, thio urea, SO3-2, SO4-2, etc. So, these are the examples about uh, ambidentic ligands. Now, the second classification is flexidentic ligands. Now the second classification is flexidentate ligands. So flexidentate means it is flexible. It is flexible. A ligand which is shown more than one density, like a monodentate, bidentate, or bidentate, or tridentate, or pentahexa, tetradentate, whatever it may be. So a ligand having different density then such life, such type of ligands are known as flexidentate ligands. Sometimes it acts as monodentate, sometimes it acts as a bidentate. So, for example, like a NO3- minus or CO3- minus 2 or NH2, NH2, such type of ligands, which is shown, which is shown their duality or their flexibility. For example, NH2, NH2, it is hydrazine. 
Now here, one, one in hydrogen, lone pair of electron from one NH2, it forms the complex, it forms the coordinate bond with the metal. Now here, it acts as monodentate ligand. Now here, hydrogen is monodentate ligand. So, sometimes, the both donor atoms, which forms the complex with chelation which forms the complex with chelation. Now here, hydrogen ligand is bidentate. So, this is the flexibility. Now, however, it, uh, however, the ligand act as a both a mono and a bidentate or tri and a tetradentate uh, like this. So, such type of ligands are known as a flexidentate ligands. Generally, three member rings are unstable. In case here, three member rings are unstable due to the steric crowding. So, the, all these are the uh, unstable complexes, unstable complexes. Whenever the metal size is increases, uh, when metal size is increases, in case of lanthanides or actinides. So, whenever the lanthanoid, comp lanthanoid or act actinide complexes, these type of ligands are act as bidentate ligands. In case of transition metals, all these are the unstable complex due to ring size. But in case of uh, lanthanoids or actinides, it acts as a bidentate ligand. So the best example, I think, uh, which is came from the uh, previous gate. Uh, so the coordination number of uh, above complexes. In case of lanthanide, cerium is a lanthanide. So lanthanide element NO3, it acts as a bidentate ligand. That's why it, it, it is 6 into 2 the 6 to the 12. Now coordination number is a 12, not the 6. So be careful about uh, the metal adjacent to the ligand, which is also a very important one. So generally, transition elements uh, can act as uh, only monodentate ligands. Here, these ligands act transitional transitional metals. It act as monodentate, but in case of lanthanide elements, it act as bidentate ligands. Not only three membered, four membered ring also unstable. For example, sulfur dioxide. So yes, so it, <coughs> SO4 minus 2, which forms the complex like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 membered ring. 4 membered ring also steric strain due to these two electronic cloud, these two electronic cloud with metal atom. So that's why 3 and 4 membered ring with the transitional metal elements are unstable. But uh, in case of uh, inner transitional elements, it is a very stabilized compound. However, some of the stabilist compounds are also present in the uh, transitional elements. We discussed about that. Now, the best examples are a metal with EDTA. We know the structure about EDTA, like a CH2, CH2, N, N. So now here, 1, 2, 3, 4 ligands, so 2 nitrogen atoms. Now here, coordination number is 6. So here, metal is replaced by EDTA, cobalt. Metal is replaced by cobalt. Now here, the complex is cobalt plus 3 complex. Cobalt plus 3 complex. Whenever here it is coordination number 6, it is hexadentate ligand. Hexadentate ligand. Our EDTA is hexadentate ligand. But uh, cobalt... H E D T A over there. Now here H E D T A that means one of the ligand is closed with the protonation. One of the ligand it, it closed with the protonation. Now here it acts as a pentadentic ligand. So similarly, another ligand which is came from quite opposite to the first one. So cobalt H2 E D T A which is a tetradentic ligand. So, this is the flexibility of ligands, flexibility of ligands. These are the stabilist compound in case of a transitional metal elements, a transitional metal elements. Now, the, the, the third one is bridging ligands. Now, the third one is bridging ligands. Bridging ligands, which means 
a ligand having more than one pair of electrons. Uh, that means uh, more than one pair of electrons. The minimum criteria is two pair of electrons. So whenever a ligand having two pair of electrons, which shown the uh, bridging ligand character, which shown the bridging ligand character. So two pair of electrons may be it, it may be present over their same similar atom or different atoms. Now here it is classified into two types. Two pair of electrons at the same atom or at different atoms. Like at same atom, the examples are OH minus, H2O, halogens, Cl minus, Br minus, like a fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, what, etc. Now at different atoms, SCN minus. Now here the sulfur and nitrogen, NCS minus. Nitrogen and sulfur, OH, uh, H2, like uh, CN minus, etc. So these are the two different type of uh, ligands which shown the bridged, bridged, uh, bridged ligand character. Now, how they are, how they are possible? Uh, it forms the complex. Now, generally, a ligand having two pair of electrons, a ligand having two pair of electrons. These two pair of electrons, which coordinates with uh, two different metals which coordinates with two different metals. In previous case, in single ligand having more than one donor atoms, so those two, those two ligand atoms which forms the same metal with the different times, with the different complexes. Now here, a single ligand at the same time which forms the coordinate bond with two different metals or same metals, the two different metals are known as bridging ligands, are known as bridging ligands. Then this ligand is known as bridging ligands. In IUPAC nomenclature, a bridging ligand is prefixed as mu, like mu, hydroxo, mu, imido, like that. So in bridging ligand nomenclature, prefixed as mu. So generally, bridging ligand complexes are known as polynuclear complexes or multinuclear complexes or bridged complexes. So the best examples about the complexes ligands are L is equal to OH or NH2, sometimes hydroxo, imido, O2, etc. These are the classification about uh, bridging ligands. So one of the best examples are now here cobalt, OH, cobalt, NH2. So now this is a bridge ligand, this is another bridge ligand. You have OH here and H2. This is the classification about a bridging ligand. Now the fourth one is pi acceptor ligands. The fourth one is pi acceptor ligands. Pi acceptor or pi acidic ligands. Pi acidic ligands. So the ligands which are capable to accept the electron pairs from the metal atoms. Such type of ligands are known as pi acceptor ligands. Listen carefully, I repeated my sentence once again. The ligand which are capable to accept the electron pair from the metal atom, then it's said to be pi acceptor. So now it is clearly explained by the synergistic effect or backboning effect. Now generally, metal which is coordinate with the carbonyl, Carbonyl means uh, C double bond, o, C triple bond O. Here, carbon as well as oxygen having uh, each and every, uh, each, each, uh, each lone pair of electron. Here, carbon and oxygen having each lone pair of electron. So, uh, generally, less electronegative compound, less electronegative element readily donates. That means, less electronegativity, more nucleophilicity. Now, here, the carbon donates the, the pair of electrons to the metal atom. Then, it forms the metal carbonyl complexes. Now here it lost the electron pair, so now it's shown maybe it is a positive due to the higher bonds, due to the higher bonds. Whenever metals are very lesser the size, very smaller the size, now here six types of six ligands are six ligands are approach to the metal now here metal having more electron density Le metal having more electron density that's the metal does not beard this much of electron density then again it returns send backs so whenever it having carbon oxygen triple bond that's why 
it accept the electron pairs now it forms a metal carbon double bond metal carbon double bond this character is known as a pi acceptor character so pi electrons acceptor character such type of ligands are known as pi acceptor or pi acidic ligands the examples are co cn etc so this is about a pi acceptor ligands now the final one is chelating ligands the final one is chelating ligands Chelation means uh, which came from clay of crab. So we know that uh, the structure of clay of crab like this. So chelation means a ligand which forms the ring with a metal atom. Which a ligand, a single ligand which forms the ring uh, with metal atom. Then it is called the chelation. For example, ethylene diamine is there. Ethylene diamine, it having two nitrogen atom. Those two are the Lone pair. Those two nitrogen atoms having the lone pair electron. Lone pairs. So those two lone pairs, which which coordinate with metal atom, it, then it forms a ring. Then it forms a ring. This formation of a ring is called chelation. So other than monodentate ligands, all the bi, tri, tetra, penta, hexadentate ligands are chelating ligands or chelating ligands. Now, these are the second classification of ligands. Now, our topic is oxidation state. How do you calculate the oxidation state of uh, coordination compounds? Like, uh, uh, I'll give the 10 examples. So, with uh, I solved the, all these examples with simple and tricky manner. So, first one is a theoretical. And next on board, so it is a simple and tricky manner. Now, the calculation of... Uh, Oxidation state of the central metal atom in complex compounds uh, uh, calculate like this. So first one is cobalt and H3 six times Cl3. So generally before going into the oxidation state we know about the charge of the complex uh, charge of the ligand is a uh, most important one charge of the ligand we discussed in the lecture uh, third and fourth the classification of ligands we will do the charge over there so if nh3 belongs to neutral dentate ligand that means uh, it having lone pair of electrons but a uh, chlorine having a negative one charge so now chlorine charge is minus one nitrogen ammonia charge is a zero now by using these these charges we calculate the unknown unknown oxidation state of a metal so now x is x plus 6 into all the ammonia ligands contribute to the zero charge due to the neutral density plus a 3 cl minus cl minus that means it is minus one charge minus one so well, overall charge of the ligands and uh, metal is equal to the charge over there In here there is a there is no net charge that's why it is equal to the zero so x minus three is equal to zero x is equal to plus three so this is the calculation of uh, oxidation state of a given compound now the second example is rhodium and h3 three times n cs minus we first of all we know about uh, the charge over Ox charge over the ligand so ncs belongs to ncs minus category that means monodentate negative ligand that's why the charge is minus one so x plus three into zero plus three into minus one is equal to zero x is equal to plus three so this is the oxidation state of second one now the third one calculation like this now the third one is fe c5 h5 c5 h5 means it is a cyclic one c5 h5 here all the carbon atoms having only one only one hydrogen now here it is a c5h6 it is a cyclopentadiene now one of the hydrogen will be replaced by the prot base now it becomes a minus so will replace it by the base it becomes a minus so this is nothing but a cyclopentadiene and nothing but a cp so the charge over there is minus one so fe 2 into fe is x x plus 2 into minus 1 is equal to 0 x minus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to plus t in ferrocene the name of the compound is ferrocene in ferrocene oxidation state is a 4 oxidation state is a plus 2 now nico4 
taken twice. NiCO4 taken four times. Now here, all carbonyl is belongs to neutral entity ligand. X plus 4 into 0 is equal to 0. X is equal to 0. This is the neutral entity ligand. Here, note that one point. All the metal carbonyls are having zero oxidation state. All the metal carbonyls having zero oxidation state. Now the fifth one is Fe, yeah, Cm, CH3. That means acetonitrile six times Cl2. Now acetonitrile belongs to neutral entity and x plus six into zero plus two into minus one is equal to zero. X minus two is equal to zero. X is equal to plus two. So this is the oxidation state of a fifth one. Now the oxidation state of sixth one is cobalt ethylene diamine three times Cl3. Ethylene diamine means uh, this is the ligand ethylene diamine. Here two two donor atoms having only lone pairs. That's why the the charge over the com, uh, ligand is zero uh, at the time of uh, two donor atoms. So now x plus three into zero plus three into minus one is equal to zero. X is equal to plus three. Now the seventh one is Fe H2O five times uh, NO sodium nitroprusside. Like a uh, sorry uh, blue ring test uh, compound is like this. So H2O five times is sulfate. So X plus 5 into 0. NO means nitrosyl cation. Here the magnetic momentum property shown that um, NO present as plus 1. So 1 into plus 1 plus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 0. X plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0. X minus 1 is equal to 0. X plus 1. Here iron oxidation state is plus 1. It is, it is very useful blue ring test. Now the seventh one, uh, eighth one is Now the eighth one is CH3 four times N taken twice. That means it is a quaternary ammonium salt. So quaternary ammonium salt uh, bared by plus one charge. Here two plus one, so two into plus one plus X V O means uh, Oxo, oxo having the charge minus 2, oxo having the charge over minus 2, x plus 1 into minus 2, plus 4 into minus 1 is equal to 0, 2 plus x minus 2 minus 4 is equal to 0, 2 to cancel, x is equal to plus 4. So this is the overall charge on when adm is plus 4, now it is a dis zero. I think a D1, D1 configuration. Now the next one is Potassium KO EDTA. EDTA is a flexible entity ligand. We discussed in uh, previous lectures. So now 1 into plus 1 plus X plus EDTA over the charge is a minus 4 is equal to 0. X minus 3 is equal to 0. X is equal to plus 3. Now the final one is. Now the final one is K2 CR CN taken twice. O taken twice. O2. NH3 single. So now here 2 into plus 1 x cyanide cyanide charge is a CN minus here 1. So 2 into minus 1. So O means oxo, the charge is minus 2. O2 means a minus 1 super oxo, the charge is minus 1. Charge on O2 is minus 1. So here 2 into minus 2 plus 1 into minus 2 plus 1 into 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 0. So now 2 plus x plus 2 minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0. 2, 2, 2, 2 cancel. x minus 2 is, is equal to 0. x is equal to plus 2. Thank you for watching.